Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boys here from Kakar again, hey, back hey. at you with another episode, another special episode, I think perhaps long overdue. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is of course doing a bit of a tasting from Calavera, the entire range. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be great. Um, but before we get into that, I really want to talk about these little bad boys over here, which is Calavera's mini range. We're very excited about these. We um, actually brought them with to the festival in Drummond the other day, it was 27th of March. And we got a lot of interest for these, but you know, because it's a new product, they're not in the market yet. But you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. guys. Okay, guys, so yeah, basically what you can also do is DM us or alternatively you can um, purchase them through our website. They will be up soon. They're not currently on yet, but perhaps after the video editing of this, they will be up soon. But just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on that just so that you know what to look out for because we actually had massive like attention oh, yeah. or attraction towards those 50 mils yes. so what's nice is we're going to be creating a, a taster package for you guys basically mm. so we're going to be putting all of this into one package for you guys um, where you can place an order for like we'll still decide on how much it will be and then at which point we'll send the entire package to, to you full range. right the full tasting range yeah. Then at which point, once you've tasted all of them and you say, all right, cool, maybe I like the chocolate one a lot more, then you can purchase the bigger 125 mils yes. from there on. Double size. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So that way then you have the opportunity at least to taste all of the range and then thereafter decide, okay, cool, this is what I like and that's what I don't like and so on. Then you can purchase more through our stores. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a really nice way to, you know, if you want to explore the entire range, just like what we're doing here today and you don't want to spend too much on the entire full range, then, you know, it's really perfect for that uh, purpose. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right, guys. So without any further ado, we are going to jump straight into the tasting. And of course, we're going to be starting with the uh, brinjal sauce. Um, mm. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a strange one for me, you know. We have tasted it before, but it's been a while, so let's taste it again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm actually quite excited to taste this one, to be honest with you. Yeah. So yeah, we've made some little sample keys. Awesome, thank you, Greg. Yeah. There you guys go. A nice healthy serving. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rating this on a few criteria. So the first one is aroma what it smells like. The yes. second one is the taste, what it tastes like obviously inside your mouth. The third one is the consistency. And then the last one will be the aftertaste, what it um, tastes like afterwards, I cool. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm, it's nice and it's almost like a like a salsa smell. Uh, yeah, exactly. salsa, like a, like a relish, like a tomato relish. Yes, um, yes. They like tomatoes in there. Yeah. Um, obviously the brinjal, yeah. It yeah, like exactly. Mm. Smells like nice brinjal and then also they've got some it. green peppers in there. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Now for, <laughs> yeah, for the consistency, I must say it's quite nice and thick. Yeah, perfect. It's not watery at all, which yeah. is nice. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly you can right. you can shake it and it's not like it's gonna fall off of your yeah. crack or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so now yes. for the taste. I'm fucking angry, Brad. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. Yeah. Mm. Mm. A little bit of sweetness right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think the onions are caramelized, maybe. Yeah, mm. yeah. And that also, there's some sugar in there, definitely, mm. to make the sweetness. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It's like a better than a tomato onion really, you know, of course, if you're looking for a substitute, if you just want something a bit more interesting than just tomato and onion really, yeah, exactly. this is perfect guys. Definitely. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, After taste, what do you think? Mm. It does linger quite nicely, the sweetness. It's yeah. not like an intense onion, you know, you're not going to have like super onion breath afterwards or anything. Yeah, exactly. It's like a very mellow and mild and sweet. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I dig could, it. Eh? I could definitely see this going with some like um like a nice chicken um what do you call it like uh tuna. you know when you top the chicken uh, basting a nice chicken mm, basting that's yes. the word i was yeah, going yeah, for yeah yeah like a yeah. like a marinade almost yes, like yes. a fat brine with this yeah, like exactly. yeah. Skin paste you know mm. yeah, oh, that could be, cool, be nice right? yeah. yeah or on like a hot dog or something yeah, yeah exactly try this on a hot dog yeah right. so i definitely would recommend this one if you're not looking for something that's going to burn your mouth because yeah. this is obviously not hot, it's, it's not hot at all. Yeah, there's 
I don't think any chilies in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's just green peppers yeah. inside there. Yes. But um, yeah, other than that, I must say really well done on that one. If I remember correctly, this was actually um, where the whole Calavera skull started mm. was from Christelle's mom that, um, or grand, um, it could be mom or mother-in-law, just correct me if I'm wrong, Christelle. Yeah. But um, yeah, so she created this and then that's where the love for um, sources came into oh, yeah. effect and then oh, yeah. that's when they jumped into the rest of the stuff. Expansion. As you can see, yeah. I mean, they've got quite an expansion here. Yeah, I mean, it's always a, you got, you got to have like a good uh, recipe within your family, I guess. And then, yeah, that's where it came from, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, jumping on to the next one. All right, guys, so now we're going to jump into the next one, which is the chili chutney. Chili. Yes, so uh, this one seems very interesting, I must say. It's got some nice red peppers, Thai chilies, oh, yeah. red and white onions, apple and tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, and a nice ginger garlic paste. Ooh, nice. So just to let you guys know, um, these products, not all of them, but some of them are naturally raw, probiotic, and lacto-fermented. It's good for your tummy. Actually, all of them, sorry, my correction, they are all... Um, yeah, probiotic. I think just except for the uh, um, the skull candy, yes, you know, yes, yeah, it's just yeah, nice chilies, nice yeah, tasting, exactly. get, nice tasting chili. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. so without further ado, let's yeah. taste them and we'll serrate them. Oh, it's looking nice. Yeah, got some a nice serving, nice mm. dollop on there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so this this one you can definitely smell the the chutney flavors coming through. Oh, the <laughs> consistency is hectic. You can the with this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really dig this. I mean, this mm. is a proper chutney consistency. It's like yeah. really good and thick. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, when exactly. you bite your hot dog, it stays in the hot dog. It doesn't squirt out. Squirt out, yeah. Yeah. The smell is, yeah. The smell smells nice, eh? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm salivating. <laughs> yeah, the chili, you can get it. <laughs> Did you get something in your nose? <laughs> put it on. <laughs> That's what happens when you can't get enough of something. Yeah, exactly. Put it in your nose. More, yeah. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, so the smell, you can definitely smell the chilies are way more mm. prominent. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now for the taste. Yeah. Let's yeah, get to it. Let's jump yeah. into it. Yeah. Mm, definitely some heat on that one. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think even a little bit sweeter than the brinjal mm. as well. Mm. Yo, okay, the taste is very nice. It's so nice, you know, it's not hectic, hectic heat. Mm. Um, Thai chili, you know, it's like a good, I'd say a, a good restaurant um, style too, you know, you can put on everything, pizza, seafood, oh, obviously yes. being a chutney though. Yeah. Um, it's it's got that level of heat. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is basically breakfast for us this morning. Yeah, so we have chilies for breakfast, guys. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. the, the only way to do it here, cut bro. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing we but do. yeah, I must say the aftertaste. It's mm -hmm. got quite a nice burn on the throat. Yes. For someone that's um, for the mouth. Yeah, exactly. For someone that's um, you know that's more of a mild taster mm. or person that doesn't like too much hot. It's not super hot, but you will definitely feel it at the back of your throat. Yeah, like if you don't like hot food, you're gonna think this is quite hot. Yeah, um, it's yeah, it's 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 a nice general medium kind of sauce. I'd yes, say. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not overbearing. It's not like my mouth is dying or anything like that. But you definitely do feel it at the back of the throat there. Yeah. But yeah, I must say, very nice, very lacquer. Yeah. Um, yeah. For those who have bought it before, definitely. Check it out. What would you say? What would you put with this? Um, chutney. Well, it's nice and sweet. Um, maybe like on a sandwich or something, like some cold meats, lettuce, tomato. Mm. Put chutney, like freaking obliterate the thing with this chutney. Oh, oh yeah, yes. <laughs> In my mouth, what? <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome stuff. So yeah, then let's jump into the next one. Yes. Right guys, so jumping straight into the next one. This is the, of course, the skull candy, the uh, jalapeno slices, the pickled jalapeno slices. Mm. And I must say, this is not the first time we have it. It's not the second time. It's not the tenth time. Even. Yeah. We've tried this stuff with like everything and it yeah, is exactly. great. 
But for um, the purpose of the video, we're going to give you guys a review as if it's the first time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, Christel was actually kind enough to give us like this massive bam, bam, bam. container full of the Scott candies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I must say, so we've been having a shitload of um, fun with it and bam, bam. putting it on basically everything. everything. everything yeah. Yeah. So it's good with everything. Yeah. Of course, your red and green jalapenos. A little bit of ginger in there to give you a little bit of a freaking Asian kick or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, the flavor is incredible. But yeah, yeah. let's jump straight in. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. Right. Da, 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 da. Nice. So I get one with a bit of a hat. Yeah, check that. It's like a, a stack. <laughs> it was like ratatouille. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite nice. Obviously, yeah. with this, we can't base it on consistency. It's a pepper. It's yeah, a it's pepper a pepper consistency. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. the smell is absolutely nice. Ooh. I mean, it smells like peppers, but yeah. yeah. You know what I love as well? This is a little bit off topic, mm. but melon and ginger, like on a cracker or bread or something, and this reminds me of the smell because of that ginger, the sweetness oh, yes. and the ginger reminds me of that. Like, oh. mm. Love yeah. it. Love but it. you can also smell, it's like a sweet smell. It's not like a mm. burning, you know, it's not yeah. like your nostrils are busy burning. No, no, it's no, like no. a it's nice. Sweet, a little mm. bit of vinegar, it's not too much yeah. at all. It's like just the right amount. Exactly. Perfect, perfect amount. All right, time Cheers, for a taster. Though. Yeah. Mm. 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 The mm. texture, I mean, I guess mm. we can because it's pickled. Mm. Sorry, I'm speaking my mouth for you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yo, yeah. That's so good. The texture is like, it just melts in your mouth kind of thing. Yeah, it's exactly. not falling apart, but yeah. when you chew it, it's just like... Yeah, mm. and I must say, and it's nice and sweet as well. So, I would definitely have this, like, if you are having like a taste uh, with your friends and so on, I put a platter out with this like in the middle so that you can cleanse your mouth after mm. each taste oh, yeah. thing, it's that? like wasabi right so aftertaste what do you think Shelley? yeah i must say that aftertaste is nice mm. it's also got quite a nice burn to it it's not like like a super strong burn to yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. but um it's definitely a nice um, palate cleanser like we were talking about now yes but um aftertaste it's very nice very sweet mm. not super sweet like like you would have too much of it exactly i mean you could probably finish this whole bottle in one day yeah. and actually um we had some nice feedback from our competition winner autumn she yeah. actually had one of these bottles with her when we sold it to her there at the show yes. and when i messaged her a week later Later, she said that she was already halfway with the bottle. <laughs> yeah, <that> so, good. <laughs> exactly. So I mean if you can finish halfway within a week, you can just imagine you're gonna need two of these bottles a month. Oh yeah. And I was gonna say as well, you know, the aftertaste, it kind of leaves you wanting more. So exactly. I can understand why, you know, someone yeah. would polish this bottle in like a freaking week or yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I would pair this nicely with like a maybe like a nice chicken curry or mm. um, something to to give your or to elevate your meals with a nice sweet flavor to it oh yeah yeah you know what i want to try we haven't done this yet but it's just an idea that popped into my head right now maybe like a sweet potato with like pieces of jalapeno Ooh, in it or something yeah. and it's like this light spicy kind of sweet potato oh, yes exactly mm. Mm. Go we'll definitely yeah, we'll <laughs> definitely be making a video of that if we make it oh yes yeah, yes cool. but um yeah jumping now onto the sauces all right guys so now onto the sauces from calavera skull yes. so we're gonna jump straight into the mango and have one yeah, and this one is actually very nice and interesting to me because it's got some honey and cumin in it oh, yeah, so, so good for you really really good for you yeah exactly chili sauces yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. i mean in in any case i mean any chili sauce creates a better metabolism for exactly. you exactly. so yeah but this is even a step further exactly <laughs> yeah all right yeah. so let's have the tasters yeah Righty ho. Hey. Right. Yeah. It's almost like syrup. Yeah. But it stays. Syrup yeah, doesn't stay. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. You can definitely smell the habs coming through, that's for sure. Oh yeah. And the mango, you can smell the fruitiness of the mango. A little bit of tartness as well, I think. Mm. Um yeah. That's mm. Mm. Yo, I'm salivating. Each, yeah, I was just gonna say each one of these things is like I smell it and my mouth just starts watering, so it's exactly. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the consistency? It's pretty good, I mean, yeah, you um, can check it's not too, too glubberig. Or yeah, exactly, it's not too watery, which is nice. Yeah, I wouldn't hold this one upside down. Yeah, yeah no, no, definitely not. Chili sauce, well, I mean, this is a sauce after all, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Okay. I would, let's taste it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, I see. Mm. So, yeah. It's got quite a bit of heat straight off the bat. Not, yeah. not like a lot, but it's there. Yeah, definitely there. Um, it's not the kind of mango that... The mango taste that you would have in your mind, like you anticipate. Yeah. It's a bit more on the savory side, but it's yeah, still a exactly. very good taste. Yeah. Um, it's very like full bodied and complimentary. Mm. The mango comes through very nicely. It's not like too much or too little. Yeah. It's exactly. the right amount for that taste that you need. Yeah. And I must say, the honey and cumin really brings out the sweetness of it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I said the cumin straight off yeah, the bat as well. It's almost like a tiny bit of a curry taste. Right? Yeah, exactly. Not, not mm. full curry. Yeah. yeah. So the mm. aftertaste, I must say, it uh, definitely also has a nice little bit of a kick on the throat. Yeah, it keeps you warm. Yeah, it keeps you nice and warm. Mm. Um, definitely a mild sauce. Look, I think most of the sauces from Calavera is going to be on the mild range, except for the chocolate yeah. ghost pepper one. Sugar but um, yeah, if you guys mm. like your uh, mild sauces, mm. I would definitely say the mango one is a nice choice. What mm. would you put it with? I would think, you know, um, anything like you would put... You know, you get your, your green mango aches. That flavor reminds me a lot of that green mango, just not as green. Mm. So I generally put like acha on sandwiches, on pup, you know, very traditional meals. I eat a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, anything that would have some kind of requirement for a nice tart punch with like a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of mango. Mm. Um, I'm thinking maybe some, some pork or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could be quite some interesting. A nice twist on pork. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. Pork fillet next day, whatever. Something yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, guys, and also for you guys that are purchasing the Caliber <coughs> stock, Please do take a video yeah. when you're making it with your food items, whatever you're making with it. We'd love to post it on our socials. Yeah, We'd us. love to see the feedback that you guys are providing. And not even if it's just the Calibera stuff, like anything at all oh, yeah. that you guys have purchased through our stores and so on. We'd absolutely love that. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, even if you just want to give us something funny to watch, you'd be chowing a chili or something. Yeah, exactly. You know, like a look at it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, but jumping on to the next one. Cool guys, so we're at the next source. I don't know what number it is, I'm not counting, but we're at the next one. Yeah. Um, and this is of course the orange habanero. It's mm. got fresh oranges in, Ooh, uh, yeah. like a lack like of fresh oranges, you know. Yeah. I mean, South Africa is known for its citrus industry. Yeah, exactly. Let me not stray off topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, geez, should we taste it? Eh? Hell yeah. 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 I'm super keen for this one. I love oranges, especially like putting salt on oranges. Yeah. Salt, jeez, I've yeah. never done that before. Oh, that's nice, dude. Mm. I must try it. Yeah. Do you want some extra sauce? Yeah, why don't we pour some more there? Whoops, <laughs> there, there we go. go. All right. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so this one, as you can see, it is a bit more loopy, um, but it's because of, I'm guessing, because, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm guessing of the um, oranges, you know, the freshly squeezed oranges inside there. Yeah, possibly Obviously, a lot of juice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's going to make it loopy, <laughs> but... Um, Smell wise, you can definitely smell the citrusy oh, yeah, it's coming very, through. It's, it's a very prominent smell, yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. It's very um it's an interesting smell actually. You wouldn't you wouldn't expect it in like a chili sauce, which is um it's, it's unique, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, time for taste. Oh yes. Right. Yo. Mm, yeah. Definitely like citrus. Orange just grabs you. Mm. It slaps you in the way. <laughs> Yo. Mm. Mm. I could definitely see this with like um, mm, Dude. with like a mm. what? This mm. on chocolate. Yo, brilliant. Yo, yeah. Orange chocolate. Yo, oh orange chocolate. Yo, I just Mix tasted these two it together. And I was like, yeah, I was like, no, no. <laughs> this is that orange chocolate taste, like that. Oh uh, yes, yes, terries. yes. Oh, Yo. that's mm. fantastic, actually. Yeah. yeah and then look, mm. and the aftertaste, I must say, it's not super burny, like um. Yeah, like the mango one much. that we had earlier mm. and the mango one you could taste the habs was more prominent yes but with this one the citrus flavor is definitely way more prominent than yes, the hab. yeah and uh, yeah as you say you know it's not that hot i'd say maybe even half the heat yeah um so it's a very mild sauce but mm. i think this sauce's um concept dwells more of course on the flavor flavor yeah exactly um, i mean it's orange it's it's yeah. very good for you i mean it contains vitamin oh, yes. c oh, obviously yes. so, vitamins, maybe. yeah and um yeah it, it's, it's just leaving this like a citrusy aftertaste, like a yeah, refreshing exactly. aftertaste, mm. you know, very mild. I very could subtle. almost just drink the bottle, <laughs> like, to yeah. be honest with you. Just quite like Oros, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. orange juice, yeah. yeah, good yeah, for you. Exactly. Yeah, All Jeez, right. what did you put it with that? Eh? Oh, I would go out of the ball and I would say 
a tequila. Tequila. Yeah, put yeah, some tequila. Half tequila, yeah. spicy tequila. Exactly. Orange. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, exactly. Next episode. <laughs> <laughs> For you see, yeah, next it. episode. <laughs> yeah. But so, um, food wise, though, mm. and what would you put it with? Well, I mean, just um, orange. I guess duck orange, maybe. We mm. don't make that. <laughs> yeah. I haven't made duck ever in my life, actually. Oh, yeah. but, um, I guess we'll go fantastically with that, like as a, a basting, you know, before you actually cook the duck. In the oven. Like, yeah. Or maybe yeah. like a nice, um, if you're going to make a chocolatey steak, mm. in this with the Chocolate chocolate orange steak, steak Ooh, yeah. could be nice as yeah, well. Yeah, we, we're getting to that one a bit later. Yeah. Maybe we should do like a fusion, but yeah. We'll yeah, see, exactly. We'll see just now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alrighty, Sweet. jumping on to the next one. Yeah. All right, guys, so now jumping on to our next sauce from Calavera here, which is the strawberry hab. Yes. And I'm going to say I'm very excited for this one because I personally love strawberries. Oh, yeah, strawberries are the... Yeah. Yeah, nice. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I must say I'm uh, super excited for this one because we've also created our own little berry explosion before. Oh, yes. If you haven't yet watched our experiments, go check them check out. Them. It's on our Instagram feed under our IGTV segment and um, yeah there we also use some strawberries and some berries but yeah. that's why I say I'm absolutely excited for this one oh yes yeah I think yeah. it's gonna be delicious so yeah. let's yeah. jump into it it's a great color too yeah, yeah exactly yeah. nice and reddish pinkish very yeah. nice and it's like completely non-artificial I mean the color yes. you see is yeah from the, the stuff that's in yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah obviously really? there's fresh strawberries in here yes so smell taste well Aroma taste smell, yeah. Mm. Aroma taste smell, yeah. Aroma taste smell. <laughs> oh, this is super mm. fruity, Brie. It just reminds me of like um, strawberry cheesecake. Oh yeah, like a lacquer slice of. Mm. Yeah, that's for sure. Consistency, oh. it's also nice and thick. As you can see, it's yeah. not super watery. It does move, but it yeah. stays mostly. Okay, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right, now well, for the taster. Yeah. Mm. 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 Your mm. that is good. It's like fresh strawberry taste. Mm. Yeah, so mm. yeah, this one is in. It's got quite a bit more heat than the last one, I guess. Mm, that's um, for sure. Maybe the same amount as the mango. Yeah. Um, I'd even also, say a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a tiny yeah. bit more. Um, but but yeah, it's a very fresh um, taste. It's like straight out of the garden. Mm. It's not as sweet as you would think. Yeah. Which is nice. It's a savory taste. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, geez. Yeah, that I must say the flavor is definitely there. The aftertaste mm. also it definitely hits you in the throat, that's for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, geez. yeah, but as Greg mentioned, you know, it's it's nice and hot, but not like overpoweringly hot, you know. Yeah. It doesn't it's even like look burning you know nice tingle yeah mm -hmm. yeah exactly very good so w i would pair this <coughs> with a nice like um i don't know like maybe uh, i wouldn't say chicken maybe like a nice meat something to do with meat mm, more yeah. red meat oh ah, yes ah, yes yeah either that or if you're feeling very adventurous maybe some fish maybe ah, yeah. maybe a nice Strawberry piece of, yeah, f yeah yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. anything you want yeah. really. or ice oyster cream. Yeah. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream too, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's a cool idea. I'm going to steal your idea from the last one and say, on a steak, but with biltong shavings on Ooh, top. Okay. Uh, strawberry steak with biltong shavings. <coughs> yeah, that could be Joy. nice. Because eh? mm. it's mm. almost like, if you've had biltong before, some people like to chow the slices with vinegar or something. It yeah. almost has a bit of, obviously there's vinegar in there as well. It's got that balsamic strawberry kind of taste a little bit. You know? Yeah, so exactly. I think it'll go well with the steak. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Sort yeah, of very mm. well done. Yeah. On to the next one. <laughs> right, guys. So, of course, we are now on to our next sauce, and that is the Calavera Peach Habanero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, excited for this one, because, mm. uh, you know, I, I know a lot of sauces are perhaps, they got some peach bases here and there and that. Yeah. But I don't come across it too often, so, you know, I'm, I'm always keen to try things that I don't try a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, um, yeah, Tish, should we jump right in? Oh, yeah. yeah. I definitely think so. Sweet. All right. It's a cookie. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm, so right off the bat, the aroma is definitely there from the peach. Oh yeah, it's like that. Mm. It's a peach aroma. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes the senses are far beyond words. Yeah. And I must say, it's the consistency nice. looks nice as well. Mm, yeah. Mm, That's looks... actually spot on for a sauce. Eh? That's yeah. That's like perfect. It's not too yeah, runny, exactly. not too thick. Yeah. All right. Now for the taster. <coughs> Enjoy. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's almost as if the peach and the habanero 
flavor comes through mm. the same time. Yeah, I totally agree. Mm. 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 Yeah, and um, as we mentioned on a few of these other sauces as well, there isn't a lot of sugar in. Obviously, yeah. there is a tint of sugar, but it's not overpowering, so it's not super sweet. It's yeah. more like, as you said, for one of the other sauces, exactly. it's more like a savoury yeah, yeah. flavour. It's it. not like peach jam. It's, it's a chilli sauce, so mm. it has to embrace the tradition <coughs> of uh, savoury taste. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, very um, nice. Yeah, I must say the hab also comes through definitely mm. on the aftertaste. Yeah. You can definitely feel a bit of burn on the back of your throat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not super <coughs> hot though. I would say a bit less hot than a strawberry one. Mm. But on par with the mango one, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. heat level, um, yeah, nice general kind of heat level for any kind of application. Yeah, that's exactly. What you would put with peach sauce. Yeah, yeah. what so would on you that, yeah, yeah, on, on that, that question? Night, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, geez, uh, I'm a bit blank. Um, Put peaches on pe peach sauce on peaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe like some pork. I don't know. What do you think? Mm. Oh mm. yes, pork. Yeah. So mm. yeah, with pork. Um, if you do like a pulled pork or something, maybe you add it to the pot after you mince the pork. You know, once it's been cooking for eight hours. Mm. So I think that would be splendid. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Or maybe mm. even like a poiki as well. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. Oh yes. Yeah, but we definitely need to find one that goes nice with a lamb or some oh, yes, nice yeah. mutton. So. Mm. Yeah, we'll see now if we can reach one of those. Yeah, we're but, getting there. Yeah, but yeah. jumping on to the next one. Wee. All right, guys, so jumping on to the next one, which is a fan favorite. Yes. Which is the pineapple hab. Yeah. Now, obviously, this one is much like the same like the others with nice fresh pineapples. Mm. Yeah, but you can see from the color. I mean, it's like this awesome yeah, like exactly. bright yellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Speaking of color, let's see what the oh, yeah. sauce looks like. On the click. Like. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Check that color. Oh, awesome. Very nice, nice very nice, yeah. Mm. And um, yeah, now, you know, as Shelly said, uh, fan favorite. Me yeah, being exactly. one of the fans, I freaking uh, love this sauce. The consistency looks absolutely good. Spot on, eh? Spot on. Mm. And you can smell that pineapple mm. pulling through. And ginger as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure there's ginger in here. Yeah. It has to be because you. Mm. Your, mm. Sure, smells sure. good. Very nice, very All nice. right. Yeah. Time for a taster. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Mm. It's so fragrant as well. Mm. Mm. Yo, yeah, that's yeah, what I uh, that's what I was smelling or tasting is the coriander leaves. There's oh, also yeah. some coriander in you. Mm. Mm. I thought I was taste, uh, tasting that. Yeah, generally I'm not a fan of coriander, but it mm. tastes amazing in that. Yeah. This is great. Yo. Perfect. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so definitely a nice taste on yeah. the um, initial mouth. Palette, yes. and then um, from there the aftertaste also very nice. It keeps you going with that pineapple flavor. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Yes. And now for those who are watching this, I would put this on pizza. Oh yeah, <laughs> pineapple, pineapple on pizza. pizza. Yeah, yeah, pizza. exactly. Yeah, pineapple on pizza. everything. Pineapple sauce. On yeah, pizza, exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but also the heat level as well is mm. like um, it's it's maybe not as bad as the previous one. Yeah, uh, the peach in that. Um, you know, it's not as hot, so it's like mm. it's even more mild. So you can literally put this with, you know, things that pair well with pineapple. Yeah, exactly. You said that you're going to put on pizza. Yeah. I, I'm not going to just give this as an idea. I recommend that you put this on a chicken burger. You will, oh, you will yes. die, I Ooh. promise you. It's, it's so, so good, good on a chicken yeah. burger. Yeah, yeah yes, yeah, so we've been making it with some nice chicken burgers here. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely, guys. If you um, want a nice pineapple sauce, definitely go for this one from Calavera. Yeah. Fucking good. Greg's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got the seal of approval. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now jumping on to the next one. Yeah, guys. So uh, straight into the next one. We're getting close to the end now. Mm. Um, it's only a couple of sauces left. Yeah. Um, this is the last of the fruity flavors. Yes. yes. And um, yeah, of course, this is the uh, apricot habanero. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, geez, it's actually kind of strange. You think like peach. Apricot's just a mini peach, but yeah. no, they, they don't taste the same. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Yeah, so let's hit it. <laughs> yeah. Curious to see what this smells like. Yeah. That's also a, a very nice color though. Mm. I mean, it's a nice bright color. Yeah. That's what people liked on the day as well, is the bright colors. Yes, exactly. And I even, you know, made a little bit of a joke. I was like, welcome, this is our rainbow. Rainbow, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> it is, it's like multicolored, you know. Yeah. We just need a purple. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I wonder, uh, berries could be purple. Cabbage. Yeah, that, that's an idea for you, Crystal. I'll make some berries or like a beetroot one. That would be interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, the smell is definitely there of the apricot. Yeah. It smells like a little bit like sour. It's like mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> got some of my notes. Yeah, yeah, you're now. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the consistency is definitely there. It's yeah. not loopy, which is nice. Yeah, it seems like the last couple of sources we checked uh, yeah. or rated on consistency, they're all pretty on par. So well yeah, done, exactly. Crystal. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, now for the taster. Okay, let's check okay. on it. Mm. Okay. Before we get on to the aftertaste, I could definitely see this on like a fruit salad. Yeah, as a dressing. Yeah, mm -hmm. as a dressing on some fruit salad mm. or a nice salad in any case. I that mean, could work, eh? Mm. That could work. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's nice and hot also. The yeah. halves are definitely pulling through. Yeah, this one is a little bit warmer. I guess. Yeah. You can feel that. And, um, yeah, the apricot is definitely there. You can definitely taste yeah. that. What I noticed as well is, as you probably have seen, we've been saying that a lot of these sauces aren't too sweet. And this mm. one is a little bit sweeter than the yes, rest. Yeah. Um, sweet and hot. And that it is a bit of a sour apricot taste for me. Mm. Um, I don't know if I would put it on, you know, like a lot of things, but perhaps a salad would. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that, that is quite hot. Eh? Yeah, so, I see. Mm, nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so jumping on to the next one, guys. Okay, guys, now jumping into our very next sauce from Calavera, which is the roasted Thai chili. Yeah. I must say I'm very excited for this one, mm. although please bear in mind, guys, those of you that are vegan yeah. or vegetarian, unfortunately, this sauce won't be for you as it contains a pure beef base. Beef. But for the rest of us that are meat eaters, definitely dive into this because it looks absolutely beautiful i mean the color is so vibrantly red yeah i mean it looks this, yeah probably glows in the dark yeah actually. exactly it's a fantastic red color yeah and yeah, and yeah. 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 so you, 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 you <laughs> <got>. <laughs> so yeah so i was going to say that there's also a bit of a hint of pineapple in here oh, yes. as well so yes, yeah yes. almost forgot about that yeah oh, what were you going to say yeah so just the story on the beef it's just oh, like yeah. my mind it does strange things sometimes i was in germany with my brother and we found a restaurant called Beef with an exclamation mark, <laughs> and we got really pissed. Uh, long story short, we were walking back home from the, you know the jaw plex and that uh, to our hotel. We passed the restaurant again, and we were shouting at the top of our lungs, "Beef!" In, in Germany, and we were like, "Oh no, the police are going to come!" Oh, anyway, yeah. sorry, that was super <laughs> off topic. Let's get to the tasting. <laughs> oh, but good story though. Yeah, I can't believe there's a restaurant called chain Beef. In Germany called Beef. beef. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Oh, as you can see, that's exactly what I mean in terms of like the vibrant color. Oh. That smells mm. like, it smells like Thailand. Yeah, like exactly. Tachi. <laughs> I never mm. went to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh. obviously this one's got a bit of roasted Thai chilies in it. And it is a bit thicker. So yeah. It's quite a bit thicker than the other sauces. Yeah, exactly. Are. So you're definitely going to hit the back of the bottle trying to get this sauce oh, yeah, out. Oh, yeah. right. And then it'll all come out. Yeah, exactly. Like, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, right, time for taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. You can taste the beef. Definitely. That's cow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, that's mm. also that's quite nice. fragrant. As well. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, you can also taste the pineapple mm. pulling a bit through. I was going to say it tastes fruity, mm. but not like it's not like taste pineapple, but yeah. you do taste a little bit as like a fruity taste. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And um, yeah, with this one, I wonder what would you put this one with? I would. I would use this. Is it like a prego uh, style Ooh, sauce? Yeah, yeah that prego, could be beef nice, prego. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's got beef in it. Yeah, so exactly. Might as well put it with beef. Beef, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, maybe even like a beef burger or mm. something like that. Mm. It's got a very, I think, compatible taste. You know, it's a perhaps a very diverse sauce. You yeah, know, you exactly. You can put it on a lot of things. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, those are just a few ideas. For yeah, you definitely. Mm. But um, yeah, the aftertaste and the Thai chilies. A little bit less hotter than the herbs to me, mm, yeah, so it's not sure. like a kick in the dick. But um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's very nice, very flavorful. Mm. Yeah, not too hot. Not to too start. hot. Perfect, a perfect sauce for the whole family to enjoy. Exactly, that's the one. Yeah, awesome stuff. So yeah, yeah let's jump onto the next one. Cool guys, so we are on the second last sauce now at the yeah. moment. Um, you know, we, we've had a shitload of sauces to get through here, but yeah, uh, no. we are now on the jalapeno jalapeno uh, tequila lime sauce. Mm. And this, for the alcoholics such as myself, 
It has actual tequila in which you can taste. You can really taste the yeah. sauce, but we'll tell you right now. But it's obviously not enough to get you drunk. Yeah, so no, please no, no. do not drink this whole bottle and expect <laughs> to get drunk, guys. Your stomach's going to get a bit yeah, you, with you, pain. Yeah, exactly. You, <laughs> yeah. Like, you might get halfway and then feel like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not going to It's not going to end well. It's going to come out very happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So a couple of the ingredients as well. You know, obviously uh, tequila, lime, jalapenos. Uh, we've got some garlic in the onion and interestingly enough, shallots as well. Yeah. So... so for those people that don't know, what is shallots, Greg? Shallots are Sheldon's children. <laughs> shallots. <Shallots. laughs> no, so basically, um, you know, for those that don't know, shallots are basically smaller onions. They're not as uh, oniony as normal onions. I don't know oh, how yeah. to describe. They're sweeter and they're more sort of watery. You know, mm. uh, I, I guess it's in there to give like more of a complimentary. Uh, yeah. Full body taste, okay. not just onion, but it's like yeah. onion and shallots. Yeah. Okay, cool. But anyway, let's not speak too much. Yeah, yeah let's taste. jump into yeah. the, the smell and the taste. Yeah. Mm, it looks good. The cool. consistency looks nice, as yeah. you guys can see. Yeah, this one's also quite thick. Yeah. I wonder mm. how many seconds it would last if I threw it up against the wall. <laughs> you should do a taste. Uh, <laughs> a yeah, taste. Mark it out of ten. Yeah. How long does it stay against the wall? Yeah. Right. What do you mm. think? The smell is Ooh. amazing. You get that lime, the garlic. Mm. You can definitely also smell the jalapeno pulling through because, mm. I mean, this is the only jalapeno in this range that Calabria has. Apart from has. the jalapenos, of course. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, of the sauces, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. But you can also smell the tequila. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of faint. essence, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now for the taster. Down, Down the hatch. It, yeah, got to tap it twice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. 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 Mm. Very flavorful. Mmm. Oh, yeah, there's a tequila. Mmm. It's almost mm. like a bit of a bitterness. Yes, yes, you exactly. You start tasting it like mm. just before you like swallow it. Mm. Yeah, so personally, I can't do tequila. Yeah. I'm a Jaeger guy. But I mean, I would chow the shit out of this. So oh, yeah. that's for sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same for me. You know, I don't, I don't really do tequila or anything. Maybe Cactus Jack. But yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like tequila for babies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I drink anything else. I should have mm. fucking straw rum, just not tequila, please. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so this is very nice. It's yeah. very, it's a, it's a very green flavor. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it is, um, it's very fresh. Mm. It's very fragrant um, and it's very full bodied as well. I think yeah. that's where those shallots are coming in. Yeah, exactly. And I must say, it's not super hot either. Like, no. Obviously, it's a jalapeno, so it's yeah. not as hot as the Habs. Yeah. It's just underneath it, I think, on the range. But exactly. um, yeah, so it does bring through the heat level, but not like astronomically. Yeah. But I mean, the flavor is there definitely of the tequila and the lime. Definitely the lime, I must say, as mm. well. You can mm. taste the lime is quite prominent in there as well. Oh, yes. But um, yeah, to put this with, um, I would say. Maybe some fish would be nice with yeah, this. I was thinking seafood, maybe mm. like um, prawns, egg or maybe even like a, a mm. like a calamari dip. Instead of using like cabbage and um, carrots and that to make a tartar sauce, obviously with mayo, you do like a blend with this stuff. Right? Yeah, like a bit exactly. of an interesting Ooh. flavor. Dip your calamari. Ooh, not worrying again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm making yeah. us hungry for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, we have a chili. We're starting with chili today. Yeah, Maybe exactly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, awesome sauce. All right. calamari. Yeah, jumping on to the next one. All right, guys, so we're on to the last taster now. Last but not least, oh, yeah. absolutely one of my favorite ones. Yes. I don't know if you guys have seen, Greg and I actually have tried this one on ice cream. Um, it is available on our TikTok as well. Please, guys, do go check out our TikTok if you have. Oh, yes. We're posting all of our content on there as well. But, but yeah, yeah, so, so this, this is, is the Calavera Ghost. Uh, chocolate ghost chocolate pepper. pepper, yeah, chocolate ghost pepper, because yeah. it actually has cocoa powder in it, which yeah. is very nice. So it's also got some nice fresh blueberries, mm -hmm. as well as um, some lime, and also, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the ghost peppers, obviously. But um, yeah, so this one, I must say, it looks like Nutella, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we could have just put Nutella in this sauce. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, just, you would not know. We're this faking it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. this, this would absolutely be funny as like a prank. You tell your friends, oh no, yeah. it's, it's just chocolate sauce, man. It's just chocolate sauce. And then you pour it over and you watch their faces. 
as the they burn. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Greg and I are also actually growing our own ghost pepper pods here. Oh, yes, they're not chocolates, they're just normal, yeah, red just ghosts, normal ghosts. Yeah, just normal ghosts, yeah. I harvested a few the other day, actually got a nice little baggie. Mm. It's not like a hell of a lot, you know, it's one plant, so yeah. it's, you know, winter's also coming around, so yeah, exactly. it's yielding less. Yeah. yeah, but for those guys that don't know, so um, ghost pepper would definitely be a lot higher than the oh, yeah, herbs. Probably about twice as hot, I mean, yeah, I, I got a bit like a tipsy the other night, oh, and yeah. I thought, oh, yeah, <laughs> let me scratch our ghost okay. Okay. Um, Even so while I was inebriated and anaesthetized, it's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah quite definitely. I can't handle that kind yeah, of thing. But we might do it for our 2K followers. So, guys, if you're not following us yet on our socials, please do so. Yeah, you want to see us die? Yeah. Follow now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but let's not prolong it any longer. All right, here's the Natena. <laughs> the Natola. Yeah. Oh. Look at it though, it's like... That looks amazing, Could guys. be barrel too. Yeah. And this? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Mm. I mean, even the consistency, yeah. yeah. I mean, look at it, it's like... That is chocolate sauce. Yeah, that definitely is, that is chocolate sauce. You can see why we decided to put it on ice cream. I mean, and for those guys that haven't tried a hot sauce with ice cream before, I must say it's so interesting. Yeah. It's like your mouth is burning but soothing itself yeah. at the same time. Yeah, it's like... What, like yin and yang? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. Also, something about the sauce that mm. I just noticed now. A lot of these other ones, you know, they, they're not like really, really smooth. They're smooth, but they still got a little bit of chunks in. Yeah. This one's clearly been like processed and filtered and ground yes. or something like that. It's mm. really smooth. It's yeah. really fantastic. It looks yeah. properly like a chocolate sauce. Oh, yeah. But yeah, now right. it's time to taste what it tastes Last like. Last one, eh? Cool. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. <clears throat> No, definitely a lot hotter than the other ones. So I think that this is this one yeah. is definitely the hottest of the range, as yeah. they themselves have noted. That is coming through. Funny thing is actually, is that this was actually only supposed to be a limited edition. Yeah, but so, people love it so much. Yeah, that exactly. They that they, <laughs> exactly. So they're yeah. going to keep producing it, which is awesome because they've had such great feedback on it. And from our point of view as well. You can definitely feel mm. it kicking you in the throat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Getting some volcanic uh, activity there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for those people that want to know also, you can definitely <coughs> taste the chocolate pull through as well. Ooh. The cocoa powder. <laughs> You're right there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely taste the cocoa powder coming through as well. Yeah. It's a very smooth initial taste. Mm. Very chocolatey. It's, it's not overpowering. It's subtle. Yes. So, yeah. And as we mentioned earlier in the video, I would definitely put this with a steak. Oh, yeah. A nice chili chocolate steak. Oh, oh. that cut! Oh my goodness, we actually need to do that. Yeah, we've got a steak in the freezer. Yeah, we're gonna make steak. it definitely for oh, sure. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what other stuff would you put with this um, except for ice cream? Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Maybe, a, maybe we could put this with lamb also one day. See what chocolate it, lamb. Oh. Mm. Now there's actually a lot that you could put with it. I don't know so much about chicken though. Yeah, I don't um, know about chicken. Uh, it doesn't seem like it would be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> chicken and Cho chocolate. chocolate chicken, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know actually, chocolate. Mm. It's, uh, all my sort of ideas always go to like either confectionery or desserts and that. Yeah. Not necessarily too much food. Maybe like an espetada, but again, it's like steak, you know? Yeah, Chili yeah chocolate exactly. Chili chocolate steak, espetada. So pretty much any bread meat kind yeah. of yeah. flavors, yeah. But yeah, I mean, this was amazing. Thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you so Thank much you. to the team behind Calavera Skull. You guys are all amazing. Yeah. Um, we really appreciate you sending uh, through your samples all for us stuff. to taste. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and guys, last but not least, of course, you know, do not forget these little bad boys. They're super cute. And I mean, you know, something we haven't mentioned yet. These are perfect for, you know, if you go to restaurants, you've never been to a restaurant before, you don't know what chili sauce they have, and you like haps, you absolutely have to have chili sauce with whatever you're eating. You buy one of these and you take it with you, you put it in your back pocket, and off you walk to the restaurant. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. Problem solved. Yeah. Yeah. But guys, also don't forget that if you do want to purchase them, they are going to be available soon on our website. Yes. But if you want to pre order them so long, definitely yeah. DM us. Yeah, I mean, we'll message. sort it out with Calavera and then we'll send it straight through to you guys. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, last but not least, guys, please do go check out our socials. Please subscribe to everything that you find us on. And um, yeah, we'll catch you then in the next episode. We'll be doing a review on the sources of one of the other brands that we oh, have yeah. on the show. Oh, yes, yeah. How's that heat? I'm still lingering. You're <laughs> still kicking my ass. Yeah. Um. But until <laughs> next time, guys, we catch you then, eh? Cheers, cheers, guys. Ooh.